All right. Now our next area is the folder area. This is our folders pane. Folders are used to organize content inside of the library. The names of those folders, the hierarchy of the folders are completely customizable to you uh, and your team, whatever makes most sense for your workflow. Uh, what we do recommend is that you follow those three best practices that we talked about earlier where you have a shared folder location that has commonly used objects such as this common content area, that you have a working folders location which is the location that actually contains the books your authors will be working on. And in this library, it's named after the department and then the document type. And then last but not least is our restricted section. That is the area of your library that contains your objects that enforce your publishing standards. Objects that you want to keep on lockdown that you don't want just anybody to be able to modify and delete, and in this library it is referred to as the standards area. Okay, all right, now to create a folder, all you need to do is just right click one level above where you'd like the folder to be created and select new folder. You can also select that same option underneath the manage ribbon, create new folder refresh folder, view properties, move it, delete it, rename it, and so on. All of those things can be done from a right-click menu as well. So whatever you are comfortable with. Now let's say that we've got a new product that our technical publications group is working on. We want to create a new folder for that product. So I'll just right-click technical publications and then that folder is created one level underneath that folder that I had selected. I can put in any name that I'd like to. By default that folder is always going to be empty until I move some objects inside of it. Well, how do you move objects between folders? Well, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is go to a folder, select an object, and then drag it to the other folder. All right. You can also multi-select by using your shift or your control key. Let's say I want all of these objects inside of my X5000 folder. I can multi-select using the shift key and click and drag. Okay, I've basically changed the address of that folder at this point from the X3001 folder to the X5000 folder. All right. Another way to get an object into a folder is to create it in that folder. Let's go to the author ribbon. Let's say I'd like to create a new topic here. I'll base it on the topic template. Now I've got X5000 selected on the left hand side so that means when I create and save this object, it is also saved in that X5000 folder. So when you are creating objects, that object is created in whichever folder you have selected on the left hand side. So that means if you're not really paying attention to what you're doing, you may be inadvertently adding objects to the wrong folder which is not such a big deal because if you do that accidentally, you can select those objects that don't belong in that folder and then click and drag them to the correct folder. Okay, and we've essentially again changed that object's address from the X5000 folder now to the X2001. Now in Author It, when in doubt, click and drag. I'm telling you, it is a catch-all for everything, as you will find as we go through the trainings.